Hi, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of The Property Show. Kenya Homes Expo is here with us again, bringing together properties, new technologies, furniture, accessories, banks, service providers, and everything property under one roof, dubbed Secure Your Dreams. At Home with Nancy highlights homeowners journeys, challenges, and excitement that change their destiny. You don't need deep pockets to add elegance to your home. Find out how on the accessory spot. Technology remains a game changer in the corporate world. Kisumu County leads the way as Kenya power turns night into day towards a 24-hour economy. We have lined up all this and much more. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. There is something for everyone. Let's discover what's new in the property landscape. The Kenya Homes Expo is the biggest homes show in Eastern and Central Africa, boasting of different exhibitors including property developers, financial institutions, construction materials, furniture companies, electrical fittings and lightings, among others. The Expo offered exhibitors a unique opportunity to reach a large target from local and international visitors and a chance to network, purchase and seal deals. The biannual event, held in April and October, has witnessed rapid growth since its inception in 2005. PDM is a property development agency of the Aga Khan Development Network. We are the people behind substantial developments within the city. This includes Nation Center, IPS Building, the Courtyard, which is an award-winning office development on General Mathange. We have come to the Expo to unveil our premier residential property in Kenya. It's called Fairfield Gardens. It's a, an estate comprising of 70 units of four-bedroom machinettes. Common facilities in the development include a swimming pool, a gym, a convenience store, and a kids' play area. Fairfield Gardens being our premier development, which is a statement to the market that you do not have to do substandard development in the name of affordable housing. It's a premium development with fully European fittings, which incorporates local materials in our architecture. It is a, a statement to show that you can actually do buildings at, that are environmentally friendly, buildings that are premium in quality at an affordable price to the market. We invite you to come and invest in Fairfield Gardens because it's a premier residential development that, that offers quality and luxury at a very affordable rate. Property Services is a premier real estate firm. It was established in the year 2013 to provide an array of real estate solutions from property management, valuation, sales and letting, all the way to construction management and training. And recently we've launched something interesting, caretakers training and also training executives on real estate matters. I'll give you a summary of Freedom Heights, which is our flagship project. It's a development by local authorities pension trust. It's a development on five-acre parcel of land. We have 252 apartments of two, three, and four bedrooms, seven stories high. We have lifts, we have generators, we have uh, recycled water. One thing about it that is unique, we are offering gas, so gas is piped directly to your units. We also have a 10-year service charge warranty period. Within 10 years, you don't pay a single shilling in service charge. Security is taken care of, cleaning, gardening, garbage collection, everything that entails service charge in the project, it's taken care of. We also have a shopping mall within the same complex where Nakumat is coming in as our anchor tenant. We also have key brands like KCB, we have Savannah Coffee House, we have Samsung, we have a couple of uh, brands that have expressed interest to come into the shopping mall. So it's a mixed use development where you can live, work, play, enjoy, all in the same surrounding. Why should you buy Freedom Heights Langata? It is 
the only project that you will find that is four kilometers from the city center, uh, very close to the bypass, so easy access to Westlands, easy access to Mombasa Road. Uh, in terms of proximity, it's perfectly placed. Just about a, a kilometer and a half to Wilson Airport, a kilometer from KWS, on your way to Karen, beautiful location. Anchor Property Consult was a company that was founded last year, but some of our projects have come to life this year with our main project featuring on February. That's when we started selling the concept to the market. That project is called Thika Golden Pearl. That aside, we have other projects such as Isinya Nest and Isinya Lush Gardens. The main feature during this expo is Thika Golden Pearl. This project is located in the heart of Thika, on Thika Gatanga Road. We are five kilometers from Blue Post Hotel. This is a gated community project. It's very prestigious. This project offers you a golden lifestyle, so it's a must have. This is where we want people to invest, people who want to live that kind of lifestyle. A serene environment, clean air, security, water, all other good amenities. At the Kenya Homes Expo, we plan to reach a wider market and also let people know that we are there. We are actually almost done with our project, so this is a last-minute call for people who haven't already bought our project. trade company is a real estate company that deals in the sale of land, houses and plots. We have plots at Roiro, at Kitengela and also some others at Naivasha. We also have apartments at Lower Kabete, we have other apartments at Lovington. We have also done a project in Roiro called the Twin Towers. Mainly I am based at Kabete where we have signature apartments. At signature apartments we have three bedroom apartments which have a master which is in suit. The houses are quite spacious and they are well situated in a gated community called Kabete Ridge View. We have a lift. The houses are up to fifth floor. They have a solar system for heating the water and lighting the, the common areas. We have a huge parking area. We are also going to have a playground and also a gym. Our reason for coming to the Homes Expo is to put ourselves out there for the world to see us so that we can encourage more people to come and visit us and see what we have to offer. Fairdeal is uh, having four companies, Fairdeal Properties, property, Fairdeal Hardware, Fairdeal Furniture and Fairdeal Glass. So we are the part of uh, this group company and uh, we have projects in Mombasa and Nairobi. So right now we have four projects in Nairobi and about 12 projects in Mombasa. From Kenya Homes Expo we are targeting investors and end users so that uh, we can present our properties. The best part of Fairdeal Properties is that we have properties starting from 3 million in Nairobi going up to 21 million wherein uh, in Mombasa we have properties starting from 2.5 million going till 20 million. So we have Mashonet in Mombasa opposite State House going for 45 million. It's a very beautiful house. When it comes to apartment we are giving the properties which are having all the amenities coming over the quality construction, comfort, luxury, a customer which seeks uh, in uh, homes Expo. So this is what we are looking at. Pam Golden, the latest franchise in the industry, takes us through their fresh approach. Pam Golden Properties is a family-owned uh, business. We are a South African franchise, although I would like to uh, clarify some uh, misconception out in the market that we are South African owned, we're actually locally owned. We do residential properties throughout Nairobi. 
Well, what we have to offer at the moment, developments, we have uh, starting from about four and a half million. We have uh, two bedroom apartments in Suikimau. We also have uh, four bedroom all in suite measurements in Suikimau for 12.5 million. Uh, those are off plan as well. So it's a good opportunity to actually get uh, something that's off plan. So you've got the uh, price advantage on that. We do have uh, units that are ready to move into in Keleleshwa, three bedroom apartments, starting from 22 million. They're called urban living. We also have uh, entry level apartments in Thika for seven and a half million, three bedroom, uh, two in suite as well. So those are just some of the properties that we have on offer at the moment. This expo has amazing unique home accessories. Let's have a look. My company is in existence for the last six years. We've been selling bag of flooring to homeowners, contractors, and resellers. Why would you buy a Pargo floor? Uh, in brief description, Pargo is a company that invented the laminate floor. We invented the product 35 years ago, and we have the best durability out there in the market. We're not telling you it's 25 years guarantee, or 20 years guarantee, it's lifetime guarantee. Expo is the only place that we get to, you know, interact with our customers, one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone coming here is shopping for something to finish their homes, and we are more happy to meet you one-on-one -on -one and interact. If you come to our showroom on Kijabe Street, you're going to meet great salespeople. They're going to take you through, show you how to identify a, a kind of a product and the original pargo flooring. We tell our customers price is not always the right thing to look at. You're looking at the durability and we guide you precisely on how to go about that. Pargo floor requires no maintenance. Initial purchase with a pargo floor from Floor Deco Kenya, we're going to give you a spin mop. This is the easiest way to clean your floor, effortless, and we give you a pargo cleaner once in a while you need to rejuvenate your floor. It will never fade, doesn't get stains. It's the best floor that you can ever have. We are the agents of Nobel, it's from Greece, from Europe. We import directly from the factory, but we assemble it locally. And we do projects, real estate projects, schools, uh, anything that uh, is in development at the moment. And, but we also sell to residentials that uh, we're doing at the Expo. It ranges from 50,000 to 200,000. It depends on the quality and the quantity. We are flexible with the payment terms. That's why I suggest to come to the expo. We discuss at the stand what we can do so we can help each other. The sizes of the solar heaters, they will range from 20 liters to even up to 1,000 liters. So for each kind of situation, there's a different solution. We are a discount shop, so our prices are always good. Since we are doing so many projects at the same time, we also import with big quantity. And that's why also the consumer can benefit from that, yeah. Let's hear from Trelido on matter security. Trelido is a uh, South African company originally, uh, where they specialise in security products for both domestic and commercial properties. We have roughly in South Africa about 65% of the market share and we're now in about 21 countries, including obviously Kenya, where we have an exclusive uh, franchise here. I think the unique thing about Trellidor is, is twofold really. A, the development of the product over the last 35 years, which makes things like the retractable on, on my right here, one of the leading products for security. The real concept of the Trellis Door, you know, obviously comes from Trellidor, where they developed it, and even last year alone had 11 improvements. So one of the key things with Trellidor is we continually improve and develop our product because obviously intruders um, always find a way to try and get around uh, certain products. So we're very, very proactive in that way. 
And I think the other key factor is the customer service. And I think certainly in Kenya, I think in the past it's been a little bit lacking. So we're very, very keen to really improve people's experience uh, to buying our products. From this product, um, this is made out of galvanized steel and it's painted, uh, it's powder coated. Now powder coating is one of the strongest types of paint you can get with a positive and negative charge. So obviously they attract to each other. Uh, and it should give you 20, 30 years plus. We've got trade doors that have been going certainly that time um, and have had no issues at all over the course of the last sort of couple of decades. Okay, our main products is this one here. This is called the retractable. Uh, it comes in different strengths, but fundamentally it's the same product with a slight enhancements as we go up the, uh, the strengths. So the lowest one is called a T500, which is like an entry level one. We then have a T700, which is for medium to high security. But we have two doors that have actually been sent to the UK for testing. Uh, these are the T900. This is a high security door, and there's actually a T1000, which we call a Trojan. These doors are seriously strong, and they've actually been certified by the Loss Prevention Certification Board, which is a third party insurer in the UK. Do you have interior design skills and would like to showcase on the show? Simply call on us. Abadea Hills Golf Resort is located in Naivasha, a one hour drive from Nairobi. And we are offering to the lucky few Kenyans an opportunity to own a home and they could buy plots, which we are offering for 2 million, 5 million, up to 100 million, depending on the location along the golf course, and also the facilities which you'd be looking at to the service properties. We have been participating in the Kenya Homes Expo. One, to build our brand. Two, to mix with our clientele. They get an opportunity to question us about our project. They get an opportunity to interact with us and even an opportunity when we invite the service providers to interact at the, with them in Nairobi. Abadea Hills Golf Resort is offering plots and homes. The Abadea Hills Golf Resort products are Chapachula Village Homes, Royal Homes, and we have villas along the golf course. Chapachula Village, which is located at the entrance of the golf course, is offering all of us an opportunity to own a plot and also be part of the bigger Abadea Hills Golf Resort. Because as the entry point, one, it is affordable. Two, we have the show home ready. So you can go to the site, touch, feel, and see and make a decision. Another reason why you should come to Abadea Hills Golf Resort, we all know what Naivasha has turned to be. It's a commercial hub for so many activities, hosting horticulture, tourism, conferencing, Above all, we know the SGR is coming up to Naivasha. That's the standard gauge railway. We know that uh, there is an ex a plan to expand the highway to Nakuru. That makes location of Abadea Hills Golf Resort just an hour's drive from Nairobi. That means you can live in Naivasha, work in Nairobi, and get away from the hazards and bustles in Nairobi. That's why we are welcoming all of us to buy into Abadea Hills Golf Resort. Above all, we take this opportunity to invite you to the site on 31st October where we are going to have our major open day. Please feel free to contact our property show. They are conducting our bus tour. It's free for all. See you there. Sin, sense, you will make a choice. Kenya Homes Expo remains a voice for local and international exhibitors in the real estate industry. Remember to join us next week for the Abadea Hills Golf Resort Bus Tour. Next, Orange Ghost Kisumu County. Orange remains the leading telecommunications solution in supplying ICT services to its customers. In an event held in Kisumu, Orange sought additional support to improve and expand their network and communications coverage to enable continued business growth in the county, a move that will also be seen in other counties. With strong supporting systems and a dynamic organization, Orange promises to come up with more innovative ideas for its customers' needs.
I would like to invite each and every one of you to this event again. Our staff from Orange, our partners from FBC, Polycom, Sights and Sound, and you, our esteemed customers. Now, you've heard about the three choices we've made. So you're asking, is it only Orange that is making choices? Not really. Our customers are making choices every day. Every day, our customers are recognizing that Orange is the leader in the provision of ICT services to the counties and to the businesses that are devolved in the counties. They keep on choosing us for connectivity, for partnerships, and various other things. I would like to confirm this, that as I stand, 41 out of the 47 counties are running on high-speed internet from Orange, Kenya. Some of them provided together with our partners. 46 out of the 47 county headquarters are supplied with high-speed 3G services that and they enjoy every day. Most of you will know about the famous IFMIS. It's running on our fiber, it's running on our 3G, it's running on various other networks that we use to ensure that we have quality service that is unrivaled. Today, 25% of the counties are interconnected using our MPLS or are discussing with us towards getting this connection. Our business VPN is unrivaled. So we cannot say that there's any other choice other than the orange MPLS. Today, four counties are running on Wi-Fi supplied by Orange. If you're more technology oriented and you don't care about the services, two counties have decided to embrace our metro infrastructure to better power their counties towards the future of ICT. We have a dedicated support system for the services we provide to you. You have a dedicated corporate customer care you have a dedicated technical support team to take care of you. And you have a dedicated customer relationship management team with a customer relationship manager dedicated to each and every county that we have here to make sure that everything works towards good quality service that we provided to you. We don't just provide you people, we provide you tools. Today, our products, our data services come with a self-help portal that you can use to report and follow up on all your issues related to your services. We give you a monitoring tool that is available to you to check the quality of your service on your own desk. This is already being used by some of you. If you are not already enjoying it, we'll make sure that you do. The list is endless. So you are in the right place. You are with the right people. Orange continues to respond to the market needs in different counties. Coming up, Kenya Power at home with Nancy, property gallery, and much, much more. Don't go away. Moving on, Kenya Power turns night into day, leading to a 24-hour economy. Kenya Power continues playing an important role in driving the socio-economic development by providing quality, reliable and cost-effective power and services. As part of its strategy to take its services closer to its customers, the firm has opened a substation in Cheptongay in El Geo, Marroquet County. The newly launched substation will facilitate the power supply network and reduce losses in the line through the reduction of the length of feeder lines. This substation will also provide additional power supply to customers in Cheptongay and its surrounding areas. I recognize Your Excellency that you have 400,000 people in your county in terms of the population. Out of the 400,000 people, you have only 12,000 who are customers to KPSC. That is not good enough. You are still living in the dark. 
and darkness is expensive. And so I want when we come next time, we should be having more people connected to power than we have today. This office is intended to serve customers at close quarters so that you don't have to go to Eldorate or any other place to have your service. We shall be going forward to open another office in Kapsawar and Nyaru in a very short time. But we want you to make use of this first, exhaust the potential that we have here. At KPSC, we are taking initiatives to make sure that our customers are satisfied starting with this office. I know we have a network that is old. We are trying our best to rebubbish it. This year alone, we have put aside 10 billion shillings to make sure that the network is reinforced adequately so that it can service our customers without failing on Thursdays, as I, I hear from, <laughs> from this community. And I've also been told that uh, it no longer fails the way it used to, and therefore it means that that amount of money is already making an impact locally here. We are doing a substation at Chiptonge, which will almost instantaneously serve about 7,500 customers in the neighborhood, and that will enhance the customer service that we expect among this community. There are, however, two areas that I want to highlight, Your Excellency, that the Kenya Government KPSC donor community project that has now been called Last Mile. For so many years, since KPSC was established in 1922, we were not able to access communities such as what we're doing at the moment because of the cost of connection. For so many years, we were charging 35,000 shillings for a single base connection among neighborhoods. That amount of money was expensive. And for a long time, it became an impediment to people having access to power. The Jubilee government, when it came to power in 2013, thought about the most sustainable way to enhance access to power in the country. And the government gave birth to this idea of the last mile where the government borrows cheap loans and grants it to KPSC to carry out the extensions to households. And that project is fairly advanced. Anytime soon, we shall be rolling it out to the entire 47 counties. All 290 members of parliament have received letters from our office letting them know which transformers are going to be taken advantage of in their specific constituencies across the republic. Under that program, the cost of connection has come down from 35,000 shillings to 15,000 shillings. And I know as we intensify the number of transformers in the network, that price might come down gradually because the number of transformers will be more in the field and therefore the distances between transformers and households will be less than it is at the moment. And I want to urge the leadership, both at county level, constituency level, to sensitize communities to connect as many Kenyans as possible among them so that we can have more Kenyans connected to electricity. Between 1922 and March 2013, we connected 2.2 million households for 91 years. And between March 2013 up to yesterday, we actually clocked the 4 millionth customer yesterday. We have connected 1.8 million customers in the last two years alone. It tells you something about the cost of connectivity. When it comes down, people can then access services. As an investor or a developer, there are many things you have to consider as you embark on your development project. One such critical and important thing is power. As you make plans for your development, it is important that you approach Kenya Power at the earliest stage possible. This will guarantee that as your development project proceeds, your plans for power are also ongoing. And with an additional 5,000 megawatts of electricity being injected into the power grid, you can be guaranteed that power costs are definitely coming down. Plan for power as you embark on your development project.
Did you know Kenya Power has connected over 19,000 schools across the country? Bravo! At Hope with Nancy takes us through homeowners' journeys, challenges, excitement, and the one thing that changed their destiny. Our brand new segment, At Home with Nancy, followed home ownership journeys that saw the highs and lows of different individuals as they bought and built their first dream homes. Planning, saving and determination were the key strengths in each successful home journey. When did you start your journey to home ownership? I guess everybody has an inherent uh, want for, to own something, a nice uh, house. So also as a young boy, you want to, you know, to drive a nice car, stay in a nice house. I think everybody has that dream. But for me, in reality, is when I was actually working for myself as a quantity surveyor and doing uh, houses for clients is when I was picking up ideas and I knew what I wanted to do. Something simple, uh, but something good. But at 29, to think about building a house and to start the journey, yeah. that's really ambitious. Yeah, that time you're you know, young, running your own uh, small practice, you have this plot that you have that is all you know full of bush and all that. So I started slowly, cleared off the land when I was doing a project. Uh, of course, I got good rates because of the people I know and everything. So everything was done for me really at cost. I think uh, go for what you want, uh, live your life to the maximum, plan for tomorrow, but live for today. What are your plans five years from now? I still want to build my dream home. You realize I'm on third floor. As I grow older, I won't be able to climb all these steps. <laughs> so I'll need a house on the ground, and I need grounds. I need animals around in the home. <laughs> I need grandchildren to play on my grass, and that's all I want. What would you tell somebody young who is just been employed, who is looking to buy a home? First of all, it is easier now than it was then because banks are giving you even the closing costs now. Another thing is, it's good they take it when they are young because they can spread all their years and the repayment will be small. Then they should not compare themselves with their friends because they don't know where their friends are coming from or what they have inherited. And so let them start small. This is what I can afford, take it. You will move it in the next step as you move jobs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Give us your party shots. Well, I would uh, say that it is important and very satisfying to own a home. It doesn't matter where it is. Just begin where you are and then move on as you move on with your career. The home that I ended up building is on land that had belonged to my parents. At that time, they had a single bungalow on it. My father had passed away, so my mother and my siblings wanted to sell it. And I thought that was the perfect opportunity to invest. Luckily, I had a friend who was willing to join me. Um, so we bought it off my parents, my family, and then we built three houses. She kept one, I kept one, and uh, we were able to sell the third one. As a first-time home buyer, our biggest challenge is finance. How did you tackle that? Well, I think it was a combination of many different things. Luckily, having worked abroad for quite a number of years, we had saved a big chunk of money, so that helped. We also borrowed from a local bank. We also paid over time, so it wasn't, you know, when you're building, you have, the, you have time, um, as opposed to when you're buying a finished house, you expect it to come up with the money right away. But when we're building, we would be billed every month, and it, the whole process took about 18 months. So every month, you're just getting what you can <laughs> um, and putting it forward. So, I mean, there's some months you even have to borrow on the credit card or, you know, so you really just have to, to hustle a little bit um, to find that money at the time. This house I didn't get until I had already reached 40. Mm. Yeah. So, wow. you know, it's not something that... You just I, mean, I had been working for 20 years wow. before we were able to, wow. to, to do this. There you have it. Whether the road seems long or not, your home ownership dream will come true.
Mudani, how are you? Very well. Welcome home. Asante sana. What a beautiful home, Susie. I can't believe how it's come out so well. So we wanted something that would be really long term. Something that would see us through to even when the children have their own children. Having looked around, I just couldn't find anything that I really liked. So at some point we decided, let's build. And that's the point at which I came to see you. And remember, I was very specific, Mudoni. Yes. I told you, Mudoni, I want land in Runda. And um, what I loved about you, and I think everybody should come to Mudoni when they're looking for land. Wow. Because you didn't waste time. Mm -hmm. I know you went out, and I remember the day when you called me and you said, I found the perfect piece of the land. The perfect piece of land. And we came here to look at the land. And even before we entered, I just <laughs> fell in love with it. Because and first and foremost, it was surrounded by neighbors who were already living here. So I knew that once we build, we're not going to have construction around us. Yeah. And of course, when we walked onto the land, I couldn't believe it. It was just so beautiful. And I just actually remember thinking that God had kept this piece of land for us. How would you advise somebody out there how to manage their finance during construction? Well, that's very, very important. Personally, um, the financing came from our own reserves. And what people need to do is whether you're financing your home from your own reserves or whether you're going to go and borrow money. It's even more important that you keep to your timelines because what happens is once you start construction, you don't want to stop, you know, because if you stop, your contractor is going to hit you with penalties and all sorts of things. Again, it's about planning. You have to have your financing in place because once you start, it's unbelievable how quickly the, the process unravels. Many people would want to know, where do I begin? What are the steps and the processes you took after you decided to buy your home? My husband and I, we sat down and we, we discussed what we're paying for rent and what we're going to do if we change into a mortgage. And um, after numerous conversations and discussions, we saw that this is the best for our family. And what we did next is being the mother and being the wife, I'm the one who drove this as well. I decided to come to your office and see the properties that were available. And your team assisted me to go and check out some of the properties that were available. We had three initially, that David and I, David is my husband, we had selected three, but then now based on what mortgage was available and based on the rent and everything, we had to sit back and say, what can we afford and what makes sense for our family in terms of space we have a son who loves to run and he loves the grass and he loves to have a garden so our first initial thing was we need a garden we need space we have guests we love cooking and hosting so we want space for our friends and our family and that's what drove us really from the beginning where is dorothy going from here i actually believe that this is a first step I'm looking at the sky. I know that David and I will own a beautiful home. I'm still having those dreams. And I look at more space. I look at a big garden and I look at a swimming pool and I look at big space for my family, for my grandchildren, for all those people who will come into my life later. What I can say is with God, all things are possible. First start with God, make him your foundation. Work as a team with your husband. And at the same time, know that every step is a step towards your dream. Wow. As Dorothy has put it, Start with what you have and be creative. Today we knock at Esther's door. When did you decide to buy your own home? I've always wanted to have my own home. It's always been a journey. So I think the first walk into home ownership was as soon as I was able to afford a mortgage. And we bought a little flat that you helped us buy. Yes. Now the real challenge was always the home that we're going to raise our children in. And fortunately we've been able to find that home about two years ago. What would you do differently today if you were to start the journey again? If I were to start the journey again, what I would do differently is save up a lot more. Yeah. The first opportunity I had to buy a house or a property was probably when I was about 23 and I was more interested in buying a car than buying a property. And the property that had been offered to me at that time 
was prime in Westlands and it was interesting that property was then bought um, by U Mobile. So the people who had properties in that area, it literally doubled. So I think all the people out there, it's um, your priorities. Property is a long-term investment, so you might not feel the immediate satisfaction, but it's something that will be with you for years and years to come. I would encourage anyone, it's get in and it will pay itself off. This house that we're in and the apartment that we're in has more than doubled um, over the years that we've had it. So that also becomes a saving. That's truly what an investment is. At Home with Nancy is not about where you are, but where you began the journey. If you'd like to share your story, call on us and we'll be at your doorstep. The Property Gallery is home to the latest properties. Let's see what's available in the market. Riverside Mansion, a contemporary design development, Riverside Mansion is located 5 kilometers from the Nairobi Central Business District of Riverside Drive. Accommodation includes open plan lounge with a dining area, three balconies, fitted kitchen with a walk-in pantry, wooden parquet flooring, built-in hand basin, three bathrooms, one bedroom ensuite, master ensuite, bedrooms have shared washroom and spacious inbuilt wardrobes. Common amenities include man security with perimeter walls with razor wire, landscape gardens, and ample carbo paved parking. The price guide for this convenient apartment is 30 million Kenya shillings for the four bedroom apartment. If you're buying the unit as an investment, the rental income expected is 120,000 Kenya shillings per month. Chubby plots are 14 pieces of an eighth of an acre, prime residential plots located in a fully developed area of Machakos. The plots are ideal for immediate settlement and are fully serviced with water and electricity is also available for connection. The plots are accessible via Mombasa Nairobi Highway, just 58 kilometers from Nairobi Central Business District and 18 kilometers from Machakos Town. The Kansas City is approximately 25 kilometers from Chumbi Town Center. The price for Chumbi plots is 750,000 Kenya shillings, inclusive of title transfer. Get a head start on new upcoming projects from our property listing. You can also send your comments on Twitter. Facebook and YouTube channel. Remember to join me on the Abadea Hills bus tour. Come and see an amazing project. Meet other aspiring homeowners, developers, investors, and have your questions answered. And enjoy a family day full of fun. Many times I'm asked, what are the emerging real estate trends? and how I see the next new investment frontier unfold. First, developers are cognizant of the overbuild of apartments in Nairobi with activities in Keleleshwa, Kilimani, and the environs continue to rise. At the same time, the upward pressure on land cost and relative expensive nature of middle and upper residential units bites the market. However, niche lifestyle projects offering high and beautiful homes, golf estates, and gated communities are well sought after. Secondly, I see the most recent magnet for new funds is commercial real estate with a rush of shopping malls across the country in which a couple of developers are now building a position. Next week, I give you insights on where the new money is going and where the new plans are being made. You can't afford to miss that. Thank you for watching The Property Show and that's it for today. See you next Sunday. There is something for everyone. Bye, Harry.